so today is going to be a little vlog type thing, but then also me explaining my internship that I did over the summer, um, or REU that I did. And so for today, the plan for today is that I'm currently eating breakfast. Boom. This smoothie was wild berries, bananas, uh, and then a little bit of water, yogurt, and some Splenda. So pretty good. I'm liking it so far. Has a lot of seeds, so that's just kind of an L. But that's besides the point. Then I have to take some quizzes because I'm, I'm essentially an RA. And then I have to do some homework and then pack my clothes because I'm going home tonight and then the gym. So those are the plans for the day. So I'm going to split up me talking about my experience over the summer into three points throughout the vlog. And so right now I'm going to explain what I did and where I was and the overview part of it. The second part will be more me explaining and showing actual examples of code and the visuals that I created and the things that I did. And towards the end, I will explain um, my experience overall and how I felt and if I would do it again and if I would recommend it for computer science students. Um, so introduction to me if you're new. Um, and if you're new, please subscribe if you like the video. Um, my name is Davi. I am a third year computer science major with a minor in cognitive science. And over the summer, I did an REU, which stands for Undergraduate Research Experience at Temple University in Philadelphia. Um, I'm not from Philadelphia, so that was truly an experience, me moving across the country for 10 weeks. So that was a lot. But um, I was placed under a professor in the Department of Chemistry. She was a theoretical chemist, and I worked on quantum mechanics. So quantum mechanics is essentially just electrons and studying how electrons move because for example if i were to drop this rubik's cube in front of me you're going to know that it's going to drop in the section that i dropped it in but if you drop an electron homie could go in literally anywhere so like i'm studying electrons essentially and i was studying double ionization in a molecule called cyclohexadine um so yeah that's what i did over the summer i spent 10 weeks studying this molecule reading a lot of papers and I programmed in Python, and I programmed visuals, graphs, simulations to model this molecule, um, essentially, because it's very expensive to test um, quantum mechanics in real life. You're trying to get this laser to go into that electron to give it energy to, for it to leave or exit this molecule. So it's just very expensive, so it's more cost efficient to do programming. And so then the next part, in a couple minutes of this video, I'll explain and show more graphs and show what I did actually. So it is about 3 p.m. now and I've been up for like three hours. But now I need to pack because I'm gonna go home and then I will uh, go to the gym. So yeah. Hello, hello. So it is about four-ish and I am about to drive home. I finished all of the things I needed to do and so yeah. So in the entirety of 2019, I've probably spent about two weeks at my house because I just was like super active in school. And then I did that internship directly from school. Like I was home for like five days. And then when I came back from that, I had to move into school within a day. So it's just kind of a lot, but I'm excited to be home. Hello. Hello. Hola Melo. Hola Melo. Hello. Hello. So I have two sisters. Um, they're younger than me. They are nineteen. Uh, they're twins. Um, they go to college. They're just in a different college than me. So like I've been home so little recently. And both of my parents are out the country right now, traveling, but my sisters made rice and Chinese chicken, and I'm just so excited. All right, so let's actually talk about what I actually did for 10 weeks in Philadelphia. 
So for the first two or three weeks, I read a lot of papers. Um, I was studying quantum mechanics, so like that was just a whole new topic, and I'm just honestly just studying computer science. So I had to read a lot of textbooks and papers about chemistry, about quantum mechanics, about what was being used, and such like that. Then I started doing introduction uh, code. Started off with a particle in a box and a harmonic oscillator, which were two different concepts. Um, I started with writing the script for it in Python and PyCharm, in the IDE PyCharm. PyCharm. And then uh, those codes would just provide graphs. So the graphs looked like x squared functions, and if you, or like an inverse of an x squared function, and then if you increase or decrease a certain thing, there would be more nodes or less nodes um, for the particle in a box. And that's just like showing the probability of an electron being found in this space based on these two walls that you put. It was just like a lot to do. It, the code itself was not that difficult and not that complicated, but like the concepts itself was what I personally struggled with the most. And then once I understood that, and then I did it in a 2D form, 2D way, so the graphs for those are here. And so um, it was just a lot of like me writing code and, and having graphs. So then when I actually, you know, had a decent understanding on that, we moved on to more complicated things. So I used a software called OrbKit. Um, it's made by, there's my postdoc's friend. He made it and it's a plugin to help you have certain calculations for molecules. I was trying to understand more about the mechanisms behind double ionization in cyclohexadyne, which is the molten file of that molecule, essentially. And by doing so, I had to take that molten file, run it through ORCKIT, and then from ORCKIT, it gave me an H5PY file, which is unreadable. It's just a, a type of file that has a lot of data sets in it. And it's unreadable if you open it in a text editor. So I had to run a Python script to open it and read it into an array, a readable script. And so from once I opened it and read it, I was able to have X, Y, and Z coordinates that represented where that electron was going, essentially. And then I was supposed to graph it. And I was trying to get a multi-electron wave function from this whole thing. I spent about five weeks doing that. Um, that was a big chunk of my my summer was trying to get this multi-electron wave function from this molden file. Um, to, to the end, I was just unsuccess unsuccessful. Um, why I was unsuccessful is just a whole nother thing based on my postdoc and my experience there. But like I tried my best essentially and I learned a lot. But um, yeah, that's what I did the whole summer. I spent most of it reading something like reading textbooks and papers or trying to get this multi-electron wave function from this thing so yeah it was it was a time i so i'm a part of this organization in my university that really, really pushes for research um a lot of it is about stem and so i was like okay let me try it as a computer scientist maybe you know that'd be cool i did research over the summer over the spring i apologize and i'm continuing in the fall and i can talk about that in another video if people are interested but um that research i thought was very very cool i'm working with the drones and robotics and stuff like that and so in, so i applied to reus over the summer and i was placed at temple university and i thought it would be cool but um i realized that whole, whole experience that research wasn't for me i don't know if it was just specifically that that university or specifically what i did it just was not the best experience for me I personally want to be a software developer and work for like Google or something like that. That would be the dream will it work in Silicon Valley. So I enjoyed the summer. It was a very good opportunity to learn more about the applications of computer science and what it can do to different things. Because imagine that you are thinking that you can only write code for video games or writing code for like websites and stuff like that. But I'm over here writing code for chemists and experimentalists to help them, whatever they need to do. So it was a very eye-opening experience, but um, yeah, no, I probably wouldn't do it again. And I would only recommend it if you are really, really into into research itself, um, going in every day and trying something new. I spent, as I said before, five weeks trying to get this multi-electron wave function to literally no avail. And uh, just like spending that long 
on something for it not to work is kind of frustrating but then also my guidance as to why it didn't work like my guidance from my postdoc wasn't the best so that probably aided into the reason why i didn't like it as much but besides the point um but yeah that's what i did over the summer for 10 weeks was study electrons and python and stuff like that so if you have any more questions please leave them below um thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it in any type of way please subscribe like and comment and i should be having a room tour with my dorm sometime soon